Greetings everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we are playing this game called Smiley Dusty. It's a horror game, I believe, uh, yeah. I've been trying to play these, uh, horror games a lot now, recently, because I've been wanting to get back into horror games. I, think this I wanted to get back into playing horror games. I want to play Visage again, but kind of hard, but because I was playing it on my Xbox, and I don't really want to do all that stuff, because I would have to replay it, the game, if I want to play it on my computer. Whatever, let's click a uh, space bar to continue. Yes, I'm sure. Why wouldn't I be sure? I think I might have accidentally closed the game. I think that's why I was asking, are you sure? Okay, it's time to reopen the game. <laughs> One second. There we go. Enter. There we go. Let's go to settings real quick. Uh, we're in ultra high quality settings. Everything looks good there. Let's click. Actually, I'm gonna come over to controls. Movement, yeah, of course, uh, advanced dialogue, space or enter, pause is escape, interact is E, crawl faster is L shift. And let's click play, uh, new game. Yes. I don't know how long this game is, but it shouldn't be that long because it's free. Most free games aren't really all that long, <laughs> but it's March 10th, 2000. Finally, I'm getting back into doing voice acting in, in now at because I haven't played a visual novel and stuff in a while. Not really a visual novel, but as dialogue, whatever. Finally home. Feels like forever since this morning. School's brutal. Oh, shit, space bar. And those endless volunteer hours at the animal shelter were more draining than usual. But hey, at least I can finally unwind. This is my senior year. Gotta focus on those college applications. Bro, it's my senior year too, but I don't gotta focus on college applications because I'm not going to college. Fuck college, you know, am I right, guys? <laughs> I don't have to focus on all that, but it is my senior year. Um, I did mention before that uh, I, ha I was working, you know, I had a job. And next week is my last week uh, at that job. And like I said, also, I'm going to try focusing on making more videos like this one. <laughs> wow, sometimes the pressure feels like it might crush me. But for now, there's no place like home. Ooh, something feels off. Usually I can hear Dad's booming laughter echoing from the living room about now. Even Kyle's annoying screams during his video games would be, wel would be a welcome sound. The house is early, quiet. This isn't normal. Okay, it's 8.12 p.m. Ooh, okay, let's see. Mom, Dad, I'm home. Where is everyone? It's strange for them all to be gone with no explanation. Mom usually leaves a note if they're going to be out. Gotta find it. Okay. Find mom's note. Ooh, okay. He is to interact. Yep. Okay. Ooh. The radio mom usually has- The mom usually has this on all the time. This thing stopped working days ago. It's just another thing on a to-do list. Maybe dad can fix it when he gets back. I hope so. This silence is creepy. Okay. Here's a very terrible Van Gogh painting over here. Yes. Who drew this, bro? Did Van Gogh actually draw this? I don't, I don't, I don't trust you. A trophy. This is my sister's Sarah's, uh, or Sarah, because that's how you spell Sarah. Okay. Uh, she won it in, uh, in the Springdale Scamper Race back in April 1999. She came in first place, although I wasn't too far behind her. I was number two, actually. We were always competitive, even back then. The door was locked. There must be another way around. Maybe mom and dad left the key somewhere. Find a key. Okay. Ooh, store. Can I, can I, does it have real physics? No, it doesn't have physics. Okay, whatever. What is this room? Why does this look like a, a confessional? That's weird. What the fuck? The fuck? What? Does that go anywhere? The fuck? That just looks like a confessional. Any of these books? No? Okay. Anything in the boxes? That's very weird. It's also a weird broom right there. Here's a breaker. Oh. Power box, huh? One flip of the switch and the whole house goes dark. Nope. Not happening. I hate the dark way too much for that. I feel like that's gonna play a big part later. Whoa. What's this? This wasn't here before. They're boarded up the whole... They boarded up the whole attic? Why? Maybe something happened while I was gone. Maybe I should just leave it alone. Oh shit, I didn't mean to click on it again. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. 
Stop it. Okay. Over here into this room now. The kitchen. There was the key. It looks like mom left something here before they left. I should probably eat something, but I don't feel that hungry yet. Maybe later. Maybe you should eat that chicken and that eggs and that, that piece of lettuce right there, bro. You should just eat it right now. There's a key. This is the key. Okay. I'm holding the key. Okay. I don't like the sounds. The, just the music is very ominous. Just got a, a, a cheese wheel right there. Okay. I gotta pay attention. All over the place. It must be the key to this door. There we go. Okay, why are we going into the basement? Explain to me why we need to go into the basement. Another Van Gogh painting or whatever. Like, why do we find the need to go into the basement? Is this where you all stay, I guess? This is the backyard door, locked tight. Just like mom and dad always kept it. They said it wasn't safe to leave it unlocked. Something about a neighbor seeing someone watching the house at night. Okay. Through this very yard. Weird. But the yard is gorgeous, filled with red flowers. My favorites. Okay, so I guess this is this isn't the basement. I guess you just enter the enter the house through the upstairs. Um ooh. This is my bedroom, which I share with my sister, Sarah. And it feels like ages since I was last here. Ooh, is that a flashlight I see? I feel like we'll need that later. Oh, I do not like that. I do not like that. Why am I able to hide in the closet? Oh, I thought that was something. That's a fucking uh, tree. Whatever. What is this? Dear Diary. I'm going to read this in a, Brit an, a very bad British accent, okay? <clears throat> Dear di Diary. This awful shot. This awful. What the fuck? Okay, I can't. Shadow thing was back again tonight lurking in my dreams like it always does it's all grasping claw it's all grasping claws and those awful white eyes that seems to drill into me it never speaks thank god but the feeling of it being uh there is suffocating like it's trying to drag me down trying to drag me down through the red roses that bloom everywhere in my dreams the worst part is when i wake up gasping for air and sometimes I swear I see its glowing eyes for a second, hovering over Amelia's bed. Mom and Dad keep saying it's just depression and a vivid imagination, a copying me a mechanism for the accident. They say the therapist will help, but they don't understand. Every night I close my eyes, I dread it, the descent into that terrifying garden. Maybe the therapists are right. Maybe it is just my head messing with me. But then again, why would me why would messed up head? Conjure something so random like this. I'm so scared. Diary. Uh, so, so scared. Who's Amelia? This is definitely not my diary. Or Sarah's diary. Or actually, it could very well be Sarah's diary, actually. We don't know our name. I don't, I don't know if I'm a guy or a girl. We, we could be Amelia, actually. I think that might be who we are. Okay. Yeah. I think we're Amelia. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this, bro. What's up with these weird paintings, bro? Okay. A medical report. 19-year-old <clears throat> Sarah Miller. Uh, date of birth. May 12th, 1981. Hey, that's my cousin's birthday. But many, many years before she was born. But yeah, my cousin's birthday is on May 12th. By the way. Suffering a life-altering spinal cord injury in the this uh in a this accident while escaping serious ex uh, external injuries, the trauma caused significant damage to her lower back, uh, necessita necessitating surgery. Neurological exams reveal paralysis in legs with no deep te uh, tendon reflexes and diminished <laughs> sensations below the T12 level. An MRI conf confirmed a burst fracture at T12 with compression at T12 L1. This translates to paraplegia, meaning Sarah will uh, will likely be unable to walk again. Prior to the accident, Sarah was an active and independent young woman. She found solace in creative writing and worked part-time at a bookstore. The accident has understandably caused significant emotional distress for Sarah and her family. Their focus, however, remains on supporting her recovery and helping her adjust to this new reality. Physically and, ocu physically and occup occupational therapy, or physical and occupational therapy, will aim to maximize Sarah's 
uh, independence, focusing on daily living activities and mobility with assisted, assistive <laughs> devices. Pain management and psych psychological okay, support and crucial uh, as she adapts to the new reality. A referral to a psychiatrist will explore options uh, for assistive devices and long-term care planning will ad will be addressed. Okay, that was a pain in the ass to read. Okay, um, let me check that. Okay, that was a pain in the ass to read. But let's open these. Uh, nothing in there, and nothing in there. Dude, dude, I'm I'm scared. I don't know. This house is very creepy. So I guess this is our parents' room, right? Here's a key. It's a key. Doesn't even look like a TV screen, but that's just a black box. Not even that's just a, a slab of concrete. Okay, we of course can hide in there, which is very frightening. Okay, I'm gonna read this one normal. 16-year-old Kyle Miller attends a follow-up appointment regarding his vision impairment. Previously diagnosed with a uh, Leber uh, congenital amaurosis. A genetic condition ca uh, causing progressive vision loss. Kyle experiences blurred vision, limited uh, peripheral, sight, peripheral sight, and difficult seeing in low lights. Despite these challenges, his family describes him as a bright and curious child who enjoys drawing. They are actively seeking resources to help him adapt and maintain independence as his vision changes. The exam conf confirms LCA. The plan involves uh, continued monitoring of his vision through regard uh, for re through regular eye exams, low vision rehabilitation tra uh, training to maximize uh, remaining vision and utilize uh, assistive devices as need and, and potentially referral to occupational therapy to explore strategies for daily living activities. While LCA is progressively uh, is progressive with no cure, the focus remains on maximizing Kyle's remaining vision, promoting his independence, and providing emotional support for him and his family. Who are these people? Because we got Emily, and then we got Kyle. And Sarah is our sister that we share that room with. So who's Emily and who's Kyle? Am I Kyle? Am I Emily? We have a brother. Is our brother named Kyle? Because that's the only other male character that's been brought up apart from the dad. But at the same time, why would your brother be playing video games? I don't like that. Um, when he's practically blind now. I do not like the fact that the shower curtains are like that, dude. That scares the crap out of me. Because I feel like at some point they're just going to slide open, bro. Okay, there's nothing in there. But I got a key. Okay. Okay. This is my little troublemaker's domain. Kyle's bedroom. Looks like nothing changed. Still a mess as always. He's such a mess, but the cute, uh, the cutest mess you'll ever meet. Oh, so Kyle's our little brother. So we have another brother. Or were you talking about your sister earlier? But like, no, because I'm pretty sure I don't really know anymore. Okay, whatever. Looks like someone's been busy with her, his art again. Your art sucks. Okay, so. From the looks of it, we are Emily. That's us. We got Sarah, who's crippled. We got uh, Kyle, who's this little boy. We got Dad, we got Mom, and then we got Emily, which should be us, right? Why does that look? Hold up. Why does it look like that? The fuck? What's going on there? Is she sitting down? I don't. I don't. What's going on with the? Okay. I. I think she's sitting down. Yeah. Okay. Huh? This is me. Kyle drew me. Oh, sweetheart. Um, uh, well, yep. Apparently, that's us. We are we are Emily, uh, confirmed. There he is, Teddy Bear, Mister Snuggleworth. Always gives me the creeps. Cre creeps. Uh, just the way it's buttoned, I stare at you, unblinking. Okay. What were we supposed to accomplish from this? What the fuck? Fuck, dude. I don't wanna, dude. Okay. This is scary. I'm. I'm severely terrified right now. Dude, like, not happening yet. And that's what makes it, like, even more scary. Because I don't know when something will happen. Oh, I missed the notes. Okay, I already looked at all of this. Come on, get, get through this text. Okay, Emily. There's been some sad news about a 
close family friend, and we'll, and we all need to go uh, their family for a while. Don't worry about a thing, sweetheart. Just relax and enjoy some quiet time. There's dinner in the kitchen for you, and we'll be back by tomorrow. Love you tons, mom. Of course, just my luck. Another family event I miss. I guess I'll just finish my homework and try to get some sleep. Let me go to my room first. Okay. I explored everything before I read the notes. So, I don't need to do any exploring right now. Okay. Alright, homework time. Wait a minute, something is wrong. Where's my pink notebook? I left it right here before I left. Oh, come on. I can't do half of my homework without that notebook. I guess I'll have to find it before I can even start my homework. Okay. Seriously, I have to find this damn notebook? Does it always look like that? I don't remember. Isn't it that? That's a pink notebook. I guess not. Dude, I am going to close that. I'm going to close the bathroom door. Because I don't like that shower curtain just being there, you know? The shower curtain's just there, and it's kind of, uh, uh, you know, kind of freaking me out. Oh, there it is. Was that there earlier? I don't remember. Um, there you are. Silly notebook. Okay, Kyle. I hope, I, I hope you didn't borrow this to draw another masterpiece. His art sucks, so, you know, don't try to hide it. Don't try and hide it, okay? All right, history homework. Uh, here we go. I wish this wouldn't take too long. Come on, Emily, focus. Just get through this one chapter, then you can take a break. Maybe a short nap, just a short one. Okay, well, the paper's made out of stone as well, you know. Why is everything made out of stone? 10.03 p.m. We slept for how long? Like two hours or so? Ooh, finally finished. My brain feels like mush. There's no way I could even think about starting, uh, starting that math worksheet right now. Yeah, a quick nap sounds perfect. Just for a little while. Okay. What am I doing? This is Sarah's bed. Seriously, Emily. Sleep deprivation uh, much? My bed is literally right there. How am I supposed to know which bed is mine, bro? You never told me. I actually never checked these. Okay, there's nothing in those. But Finally, some peace and quiet. Just a quick nap, and I can figure out what to do next. Okay. What is that? Can I take the flashlight? Is that the TV? All the doors are closed. That's not the TV. Are all the doors closed? It's coming from upstairs. Dude, I don't like this. It's that pi pi picture from earlier, but like sunshine and not in Van Gogh. There is no way. How? This radio is supposed to be broken. We haven't been able to get uh, get it to turn on for days. I guess I should get uh, get back to bed before I start overthinking. What? Hello? Is anyone there? Please answer me. Answer the door. No. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. The dog. Who's knocking? Hi. Sorry for the interruption. I really need your help. I'm a traveler. And my car broke down. It's cold and rainy outside. And I just need a place to stay out of the weather until the rain stops. Can I come in? Sorry, but I don't think so. You'd better find somewhere else. But I've knocked on 11 doors now and everyone's refused. Please, it's freezing out here. Lie to him, be honest. Oh, fuck. What, what do you mean by lie to him or be honest? I don't get it. What do you mean? What am I lying to him about? Like, what? Be honest? Sure not. I'm sorry, I understand you're in a tough spot, but it's late, and I'm all alone here. I just can't let a stranger come in. I understand your caution. Thank you anyway, Emily. Wait, how did you know my name? Mister? Mister, answer me! Where did he go? What? What was all that about? I'm so scared. Things like that just that didn't just happen, do they? Amelia, or Emily. Just relax. Maybe it was nothing. We'll walk around late at night, right? What was that? What was that? Maybe I'm a little too tired, and that's why. I think I should call my family, the police, anyone. I need to call for help. I can't stay here and alone anymore. My phone is in my bedroom. I can use it. Weird guy is down here. Why would I be going down here when he's clearly down here? I don't like this. I don't like that. This is a weird creature that... Freaking Sarah was talking about 
Open the door, Emily. Are you scared of me? I need... Or I need to hurry. And... Bro... Get the phone. Who should I call? Call the police. Uh, they should be faster or something. I don't know. It's better to call the police. Like, if there's anyone in your house, never contact your family first. It doesn't matter. Just never contact your family first. Always call the police first. 911, what's your emergency? Help, but there's someone trying to get into my house. I don't know who he is, but he knew my name. Okay, calm down for a moment. Can you tell me your your name and what's happening? Are you still now? Is he still there? I, I'm Emilia, or Emily. He was at the front door a minute ago, but now it's quiet. I'm all alone in the house and I'm so scared. Have you seen this person at all? Can you describe him? No, not really, just a voice, a man's voice. It sounded creepy. All right, Emily, don't open the door for anyone. Find a safe place to stay. We're sending officers to your location right now. Can you tell me your address? Yes, it's 142 Evergreen Lane in Backwood Creek. All right, stay calm and stay safe. Uh, we'll try to get I will try to get someone to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, keep the line open and Hello? Are you still with me? Wait, what? The line was cut. Okay, Emily, Tom. They said they're sending help. Just stay put until they arrive. God, bro. Hopefully they do arrive. It's 11:21 p.m. A whole hour passed. They're not coming. God. An hour. It's been over an hour and no police. What's taking them so long? I'm so tired. But I can't sleep, not with the thought of him out there. Man, he hasn't knocked again. Maybe, just maybe he's gone. Maybe a quick nap won't hurt. You gotta be kidding me. Emily, sweetheart, are you there? Mom? M, M, we came. Kyle? Come on, Emily, open the door. No need to worry. The cops caught the stalker and everything is fine. Or, that was the dad, whatever. Dad, all of you are here? But where's Sarah? Don't worry about Sarah, Emily. Just come out of your room and open the door. We're all here for you. Yeah, Em. She's right here. She's just a little shy, that's all. Honey, it's okay. Open the door and come join us. Sarah is here too, and she wants to apologize about what happened between you. Dude, I do not want to do it. I don't trust them. It's not them. I just know it's not them. What if I... Come in here. No. What if I just stay in here for a while? I don't think it's gonna let me. Why am I getting disoriented? Oh, the police. They're here. Cause I don't think that's them. That's definitely the the bad guy mimicking their voices. But one thing that's strange is how they di didn't mimic Sarah's voice. It's really strange right there. It's fade to black. Ending hidden or hiding. It's a very anticlimactic ending right there. How was that? Um, so, I think we're gonna end the video here. I might come back to it and get, like, uh, another ending or so. But, pretty creepy game. It sent shivers down my spine. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below. Stuff. Maybe if you want to see me play any other horror games out there. Just, you know, comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and bye bye